Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing your love prediction. This is gonna be for the rest of 2020. So including October, November and December. So I'm sorry if you can hear a noisy helicopter overhead. It's literally just started going as I started filming. So I don't know if the universe is trying to tell me something, but <laughs> there's some weird stuff going on. So let's get started with your pick a card. So we have group number one here, group two and group three. Please choose the picture that you are most drawn to on these cards and let's get started so starting off with group number one hello group number one thank you so much for being here let's get started with your pick a card so let's see what is coming for you guys in love so the first card you guys chose is this beautiful one right here so this is actually says playfulness which is beautiful so it says playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I do feel like love is very, very prominent for you guys within the next few months. I do feel like you are basically gonna be working on your relationships really, really deeply. So that is what I feel like you guys are really dealing with. I feel like you're really dealing with some karmic situations. Not all of you guys, that's just for some of you. So I do feel like to take things really lightly in your relationships. I feel like at the moment things are really up in the air, especially with all the planetary stuff. There's a lot of stuff that ain't it sis so if you are really feeling this and this is not unusual so basically it's to take things lightly take things with a light heart and know that you're not alone and know that basically you are going to manifest some really beautiful playful energy into your life so the first card out we have is the mask so this is really really beautiful so i feel like for this mask energy there's definitely some revolutionary revolutionary energy that's happening for you guys in your love life i feel like it's definitely energy of you coming the hell is happening can you guys hear those sirens okay so we have the ocean and we have the mask the ocean is the second card out here so i feel like with you with the ocean there's definitely energy of really holding on to things that no longer serve you so for you guys i do feel like there's an energy of being in two minds about something it might be to do with your relationships it could be to do with your just any sort of situation especially to do with people who you really really love could be a previous partner could be friendship there's two parts of you that want to express your authentic feelings and the other part of you just wants to be loved and to be held and to be really open and i do feel like you are battling both sides of that okay so the second card here of the ocean we have the ocean and we have the mask so hopefully you guys can see that so for you guys, it's definitely about two minds about something. I feel like you see things from a clearer perspective, but it's also bringing up a lot of heavy stuff and that's okay. So I do feel as if part of you is being um, pushed away in a, in a good way. It feels like you're releasing an old part of yourself that no longer serves you. And I do feel like the old you is really starting to come back. I feel like you've been through quite a lot of trauma in your life. And it feels like the, the new you is starting to come back. And I feel like for you guys in this group, I feel like more by the time around January, you're going to meet somebody, I feel, for a lot of you guys, especially those of you who've really, really been working on yourselves and consciously been seeing, okay, what is there that I need to be more authentic? Is there any way I can be more authentic with myself? I do feel like you you could be meeting a water sign as well. You're going to be meeting somebody who's very, very into their emotions. You could be somebody who's very, very deep, somebody who who also, when they're in a relationship, they feel they need to kind of morph or form this kind of like, I want to say, I'm hearing like a fake ball. So basically like thinking that you're somebody else, trying to make them see that you're somebody else. But basically it's telling you to be your most authentic self. It's getting you to, this energy is pushing you, it's constantly pushing you to be your most authentic self. So if you are really struggling to um, assert yourself, to come across in the right way, I do feel like you are going to be pushed to your limit. I know it sounds really depressing and annoying, but it's all for the good, you know? It's all to make you be this authentic person that you're born to be, and you're gorgeous the way you are, you know? There's nothing that you have to change. You just have to be yourself. That's essentially what I feel that you guys are really going through. I do feel like on the other side, it's going to be really good. I feel like if you're already in the other side energy and you're feeling really good about your love life, I do feel like for you guys, there's definitely energy of like feeling really open, feeling really free and like you can really take your mask off. And I feel like some of you guys who possibly are a little bit insecure about your face or something to do with your makeup or something, you may feel the need to wear makeup, you have to wear makeup, that sort of thing. With this situation, you don't have to do anything. You just have to be your most authentic self 
And that can be really, really difficult, especially those of you who have Libra in your chart. I am feeling like some of you guys, you're sen I'm sensing like a throat chakra energy. There's something that you're wanting to tell somebody, but you're really struggling with it. So if you guys are really struggling with this, then know that it is going to change and it is going to get better. Okay. So that deep stuff out of the way, but I also feel like there's just two, two parts of something. There's like the good stuff and the bad stuff. So I feel like you guys are really like flipping in and out. So say like you're feeling really good one day and you suddenly feel really, really sad and annoyed and stressed out. That's okay. This is normal. This is the energy that's happening. It's kind of like you're being pulled sideways and then you're being pulled kind of under and over, you know, it's, it's stressful, but it's okay guys. This is going to, it's going to be okay. Tuning into your childlike energy is going to really help you move through this. Okay. So Next card out we have, fifth house of creativity. This is perfect. So you guys are really gonna be in tune with your creativity. I do feel like it's really important for you to tune into the lighter side of life and the higher energy when you don't feel so dragged down. I feel like, and also we have masks here. There's definitely something to do with masks. Obviously that is accurate because we have to wear literal face masks, but this is like an actual proper, like your entire face. So maybe you feel the need to kind of hide your face or not show anyone who you really are because you don't want a, people to have a reaction or you don't want to, you know, maybe you had a negative reaction in the past or something to do with an insecurity. But no, that's all in the past, guys. That is being pulled away now. And you guys have really learned to focus on your fifth house of creativity. So this is your childlike energy. This is your innate ability to just really tune into your creativity, your self-expression. It could be to do a drama as well. So you guys could be um, drama, enthusiast you could be into acting singing that sort of thing and tuning more into that is going to help you to recognize what your power is because the more we tune into what we love and what we authentically are into it's just going to expand our soul even more so the more we focus on ourselves the more we're going to manifest this relationship to come in or you know or to manifest better relationships because we're going to know what we need and what we want out of life i just feel like creativity is really super important so the energy you guys are dealing with right now is the golden egg. So the golden egg is a really, really intense energy, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like ultimate fulfillment, so much happiness. And also you guys are on the cusp of something. You are so close to getting your partnership or manifesting the best life for you. You're just so on the cusp of it. Essentially, you are in an incubation period. So if you feel the need to retreat, definitely retreat. I feel this is so important for you guys is to retreat. It's going to be really important for you guys to just be in your own energy because what's happening is part of you is starting to really, really awaken and, and, and almost energy starting to pull up. So I feel this, I feel this gorgeous like energy coming over my heart and over, sorry for guys, if I just touched the microphone, over my heart and over my shoulders. It feels like I'm wearing like a cape or something. It feels really, really positive. It just feels really, really good. And I feel like with the golden egg, part of you is just waiting to get out there, waiting to meet this person. And I feel like what's happening is you may feel a little bit impatient, but that's okay. Like that's normal. Work with that impatience, work with the kind of, annoyance <laughs> um but basically just nurture yourself as much as possible get enough rest drink enough water and i just feel like your person is definitely coming in i feel like for those of you who are already in a relationship part of you is being held back your life is being held back because you are needing to work on yourself so if you don't feel like anything is happening if you feel like you're not being able to move house or you're not being able to really move up in the areas of your relationship then i do feel like it's it's determining you to pull back and look at yourself and see what's going on within you and it could be insecurity it could be safety it could be a lack of commitment or not, or not wanting to commit you know that sort of thing so also i'm hearing for you guys who are entertaining like some sort of relationship that are breadcrumbing you so basically they come in talk to you and then leave that is the sort of person that you don't want to be around and that is not the person i'm talking about this is somebody who's determined who is authentic and somebody who is really really just just had this really nice thick energy like it feels gorgeous it feels very mature and like they've really kind of worked on themselves obviously this may not be in the next three months this may be going over into a little bit into next year maybe in february giant february january february but i feel like you guys just have to like wait it out essentially but it's fine because you are getting there and you're essentially realizing a lot about your spiritual process so there's definitely a part of you that needs to awaken or is starting to awaken and i feel like a lot of you guys are starting more spiritual practices you're meditating more doing yoga more which is perfect keep doing that Okay, so the person or the energy that you are bringing in in the next few months is the elk. So it's funny because the elk and the golden egg came out in the reverse, but I'm picking them up on in the 
positive side. So it's almost like this is, could be where you are, but this could be where you're going to be. So basically, if you stay in this energy of isolation and stopping yourself from feeling things and kind of pushing your energy onto other people, that's where you're gonna stay. And also to ignore your authenticity, that's where you're gonna stay. But if you acknowledge and embrace those good sides of you, going to get there and it's going to be really good i just feel like a gorgeous mothering energy just mother yourself and look after your inner child so the elk here this is the energy that you could be entertaining or this could be like a brand new person coming in so this is somebody who is very very fiery but also very earthy so it could be a partner it could be somebody you're already with or somebody who is coming into your life so i feel like for a lot of you this person is separate from you so you actually don't know who this is yet the elk is showing me that this is somebody who is really working on the parts of them that could be like their root, their sacral and their solar. So a lot of their safety, a lot of their insecurities and they're dealing with kind of becoming the leader in their own life. So they, they're learning to assert themselves and become somebody who can really be heard because they're very sensitive. They're somebody who is extremely sensitive and very spiritual and I feel like as somebody that you want in your life, somebody, something, somebody that you really need, I feel. I feel like you've really attracted people who are quite emotionless almost or people who just don't really care and I feel like you need to be somebody who cares about you because you freaking deserve it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this person has been gaslighted before as well as somebody who has as I say, the same with the breadcrumbing thing. It's kind of like they tell you that you're bad and all the bad things. They basically they dealt with narcissists basically. So I'm going to see what else is coming for you guys. But I see this person is reaching out for you. You can see that the elk is like kind of reaching out to the golden egg. It's kind of like reaching out and waiting for the for the egg to crack. So essentially, this person could be waiting for you to um, open your open parts of you that maybe you don't even know are there yet. But that's okay, because it's all in divine timing, guys. It really is all in divine timing. So let's get you some tarot. And let's see what's coming in for you guys. Okay, first up, page of wands, beautiful. So this is an energy of kind of seeking out something, seeking out your creativity and really finding out what feels good for you. Something you're really passionate about and definitely that fifth house of creativity is coming through really strongly. So if you've been wanting somebody who is really creative, then this could be an extra sign. It could be somebody who's creative, but you know, it could be something else as well. So it could be you working on your creativity or it could be them working on your creativity. So you could also be harboring a, a long distance relationship. It could be somebody who you're from a distance from and you're kind of waiting to meet each other and you may feel like kind of giving up. So if this is something you've kind of been dealing with for a while and you're like, I don't know if I could do this anymore. Some of you guys might actually be ending that. So I'm sorry if that's, that's you, but you kind of will already know that that's happening. Um, but for others of you, you guys are really looking at your emotions. You're doing a lot of work and I feel like you guys are really looking at things that maybe you need to improve on. And the two of ones is also showing me you are waiting for somebody who is mature and somebody who is really in your energy. And I feel like you are definitely gonna manifest that. Possibly, I would say, possibly not in the next few months. It may be a little bit longer. Obviously, timing is very fluent. Fluid? Fluid. <laughs> fluent? Fluid? Something like that. Fluid. Um, but just take it as it resonates because obviously it's different for everyone. So then we have the Ten of Cups. So I do feel like there is some sort of reunion. Some of you guys are going to have somebody come back from the past, which isn't always that great. <laughs> but for others of you, it could be that this person's really thought about what they needed and they're coming back to kind of have a little chat with you but it definitely feels like shock it feels like something intense is going to happen something kind of almost shocking but like for you guys we had the tower so i feel like there's an intense breaking away of something and i feel like it's to do with you and your creativity i feel like for a lot of you you are single for a reason definitely because you're needing to keep working on your creativity keep getting those ideas out because Oh, overall, once you get to that final idea and then you meet your person, that's going to be how you meet because of your creativity, because you are in your own energy. Essentially, that's how you're going to meet your person. Basically, that's that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> So that is your reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a private reading with me, please feel free to have a look down below along with my crystal shop. I have some really beautiful crystals on there. I also do custom pieces. This is one of the necklaces that I have on today. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your pick a card. Okay, so the first card we have out is passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it 
So this was one of the cards I was drawn to. I didn't actually shuffle these cards. I just chose the photo that I was intuitively drawn to. Friggin' love this photo. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So for you guys, it's definitely somebody who wants to kind of bring in some passion into your life, but it's also bringing your own passion. So this can mean various different things. So first message, normally I get like tons of messages. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> Starting with the first message. The first message is, dealing with your own passions. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So it's kind of like what makes you passionate about life? What lights you up? What makes you want to go out there and do your thing and do your career that you really love or do the thing that you really love? And it could be a hobby. It could be a thing that you love doing. So like you just love talking to your mates. You just love hanging out with your friends. You know, it's sort of, that sort of thing. It's kind of like what do you really love out of life? And for some of you guys, you might not even know what your life purpose is that's totally fine. Your life purpose changes and you don't always have to know. It can be what are your core values. That's essentially what this card is telling me. It's kind of like what are your core values because if you don't know what your core values are then sometimes this can be a bit confusing as to what direction you want to go in. So this is about career as well. I feel like this is very much to do with what you're passionate about in terms of your hobbies, your intentions on this world. Like what do you want to do? Do you want to bring enlightenment to people? Do you want to help people? Do you want to kind of help people awaken? Is it kind of like an energy of like, I wanna care for people physically, so you wanna be a nurse or you wanna be a masseuse? You know, that sort of thing. I feel like this is part of your love life. It's essentially what you love is what you can really, really invest in. And I am seeing you guys going on a date very soon, so if you are single, I do see that very much happening. I see this is definitely something that you're gonna experience physically. I feel like physical touch is so important, and I do feel like physical touch is something that you're going to have. It doesn't have to mean from somebody else. This could mean like you're having like a spa day and you're like putting on like a face mask or you're wanting to do some makeup or something like that. It's kind of like just giving yourself that time to just be in your own energy and, and really experience yourself. And I feel like for a lot of you guys who have been single for a long time, girl, you've been for a lot. And I do feel like you are definitely learning how to find your passion and what you're passionate about. And also keep executing that. The more you execute your creativity, and keep doing what you enjoy, the more you're gonna be in this lighter energy and you're not gonna be focusing what you haven't got and that's out there, but essentially you're going to get it. It just may take a little bit longer than what you thought. So the first card we have out is the Hunter. So this is a very, very deep card. I always get massive amount of fast track movement from this card. This is all about like that fiery energy of finding your passion, finding out what makes you passion, what lights you up. So as you can see, the horse is kind of like looking towards the light. He's like trying to find the light, but he's struggling. I feel like you guys are going through a gigantic transformation in your life. I feel like part of you, the old part of you is really pretty much gone now. I feel like the old you is like, I don't need her anymore. There's a lot of toxicity around that energy. Not to say you were toxic or anything like that. I just mean that you dealt with a lot of toxic energy and you were kind of in the midst of it. You were in the mud, you know, you have really struggled with trying to find your footing and it was really hard for you to find your footing because people were treating you so freaking badly. So I do feel like part of you is restoring now. You're learning to look at what you're passionate about. Keep focusing on what you're passionate about. Don't get sucked into all the drama and all the negativity in the world. It is all playing out for a reason so we can wake up, so we can recognize what is authentic about us squidgy human beings, because that's all we are. We are squidgy human beings who feel a lot. That's pretty much what we are. So essentially, what you need to keep doing is keep laser focusing yourself. Don't get dragged into anyone's drama. Don't get pulled away from anyone who is, you know, in their energy, just be in, your, in yourself. And I feel like the more you're doing that, the more you're able to really center yourself because you can't help others if you're not helping yourself, okay? So the next energy we have is Chiron healing. That is the T. Okay, so I do feel like a lot of you guys are really going through a deep healing stage. And for you guys, you are in the middle of the healing. I feel like some of you guys may be at the end or the start. It's completely up to you where, where you feel like you are because obviously everyone's on a, different t uh, on a different timeline. So a number eight could be very, very significant for you or the number five or six could be very significant. That could be your life path. It could be the number, they're saying the num the amount of letters in your name, that could be that as well. I do feel like it's an energy around healing in terms of unlocking something that maybe was dormant for quite a long time. And this could be that somebody in your life you have pushed out because they are no longer good for you. This is so good. And if you have done this, well done for you guys. You could have done this in the past, like a few years ago. It's kind of like you're now allowing yourself. It's so much like femininity energy, so much like passion. And I feel like there's definitely a part of you that is being 
revealed I feel and you're learning who that person is because especially if you've been in an energy of like survival mode it's kind of hard for you to find yourself sometimes so okay so the person that you are right now or the, or the energy that you are wanting to become is the mouse so the mouse is coming out in the reverse so for a lot of you guys who are kind of in a negative toxic situation you are feeling very very sad and vulnerable right now and it's really really important for you to recognize why are you in that situation and what can you do to make it better? Because at the end of the day, you can't get to where you wanna go if you aren't changing. To initiate change, we have to change. This is coming from a Scorpio. <laughs> Fixed signs aren't the best at changes, but we try our best. <laughs> so with the mouse, I feel like you guys are really learning to embrace your sensitive side. You guys are so cute, okay? You have such a cute energy. You're so light and delicate. You just want the best for everyone, but sometimes you can get caught up in negative, toxic situations. In the next few months, you're going to realize that your sensitivity is your most gorgeous, gorgeous power, and it's going to absolutely amaze people. And why the hell would you want to discard that or destroy it or ignore it? Because you are amazing and it's gorgeous energy and it's something that the world needs right now. It needs sensitivity, it needs love, it needs delicate energy. So for you, really embrace parts of you. You may be feeling a little bit scared right now in love. There might be a part of you or something that's scaring you and that's okay. Embrace that, really acknowledge it and make sure you're really working on safety. And I feel like for you guys, if you get overwhelmed by being indoors so much, get outside, that's gonna really, really help you. Just walking, just walk somewhere for like five minutes, that'll really, really help you. Because sometimes we actually get, we forget that being indoors can actually really feel restricting in our minds. So it can really restrict our mental health. And I feel like you're definitely gonna manifest this gorgeous, this, this energy just feels really freaking good. <laughs> so the energy that is coming towards you or the person that's coming towards you is the bee. So I love the bee. The bee always reminds me of Virgo energy. It's very delicate energy. It's very light. Sorry if you guys can't really see it. Um, very delicate, very light. It's an energy of just expansion and hard work. This person doesn't stop working. So you guys may be feeling overworked. I feel like for some of you guys, because of the energies that are happening right now, you're feeling super sensitive and it's really important for you to not overwork. So if you are really struggling with work and things are coming on top of you, just recognize that maybe you just need, to, you need to take a break. And it could be that maybe you can't take a day off, but at the end of the day, at the end of the work day, have a conscious like hour to yourself, like reading or doing some drawing or listening to music and allowing yourself that quiet time. So the B is somebody, as I say, hardworking, somebody very sensitive. So you're gonna be manifesting somebody or an energy that's gonna allow you to work more diligently. And this is in your love life. So I do feel like somebody is coming in to help organize you and help you to become more organized. Or this could be energy that is helping you to become more organized. So say you're having like an epiphany and you're thinking, wow, my house is a mess. I need to like tidy it up, you know? And maybe then the next few weeks you're gonna be tidying it up and really um, organizing things. But this could also be that you've worked so hard that you're gonna manifest some really good passion into your life, which is so, beautiful okay so let's get you some tarot i don't know why i put the tarot on the floor but that was obviously i did that subconsciously so the first card we have out is the eight of wands so massive amount of movement forward kind of moving towards your goal what makes you feel really really passionate okay so fast movement and the b is fast movement so essentially these two are pretty much the same card it's kind of like what's coming towards you and what you can really expect um in terms of i'm hearing a lot of feeling feeling a lot of third eye throat energy my third eye is really like whoa whoa it's kind of like beep 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 <laughs> you know it's like you're going to feel when this when it, for those of you who are single you're going to recognize who this person is when you meet them you're going to be like wow and they could be an earth sign because we have the king of pentacles i'm here i heard heard king of earth so that's interesting so you guys might have an oracle deck that says king of earth or something on it which is cool so with the King of Pentacles, you are manifesting an energy that's very stable. You could be moving house in the next few months. It could be that you're thinking about moving house um, or something's gonna happen that's gonna enable you to move house. I'm hearing finally, <laughs> okay, and temperance. I feel like this is essentially a relationship that's gonna be really, really powerful. It's gonna be a relationship that's gonna help you to manifest abundance. It doesn't actually have to be a romantic relationship. It could be like a friend or a co-worker who just allows you to be the best of who you are. For those of you, it could be romantic because we do have the Knight of Cups here. So somebody who is really 
delicate. This is very much the bee and the mouse energy put together. It's somebody who's assertive, but also very sensitive. You guys, when you meet this person, for those of you who are single, um, for those of you who may meet this person, I feel like you're going to feel a little bit vulnerable and the need to put your guard up. But don't do that because I feel like this person's a really big, good match for you. Um, because we do have the Queen of Pentacles and we literally had the King of Pentacles. So that's really beautiful. So this is somebody who's going to be your ultimate match. So essentially, the more stable you become, the more you're going to manifest this person because essentially who you are is what you attract. So if, as long as you are really consciously working on your emotions, I do feel like also you can meet this person through work. You could meet this person through something that you're really passionate about, your creativity, your hobbies, something like that that really lights you up and makes you feel really, really good. Definitely a lot of throat chakra stuff you guys are really working on. Whoa, because my throat is really going for it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Also, along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's happening for you guys within, within the rest of the year for your love life. So the card you chose is this gorgeous heart picture. It's really, really beautiful. It says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transfer transforms all things. So I do feel like for those of you who are wanting a relationship, I feel like because you're transforming, you are going to be attracted to people that maybe you weren't attracted to before. And this is going to be people who are really kind and genuine and gentle. So don't be scared of kind of approaching somebody if you feel like you're drawn to them. Because I feel like you're, where you're going for a big transformative process, you could be a Scorpio as well or a Capricorn uh, or Taurus. I'm getting like a really strong energy of like you're realizing your potential and a lot of people are gonna start to be drawn to you because you're realizing who you are and you have this really gorgeous confidence that's kind of radiating from you. So the next two cards we have, oh, we have three cards, okay. Wow, so, oh my god, you guys, you guys have got so much rainbow. Okay, so the first one we have is the creator. The creator, we have the comic, comic, and we also have the self. So as you can see, all of these cards are very, very rainbow, and the self is very much about the transformative process. It's about you finding who you are, finding yourself, and creating who you are. So I feel like taking things less seriously is going to really help you. I feel like a lot of you guys are going through this gigantic transformation it's really helping you transform the way you see things so it could be um, externally but I feel like more internally the more you meditate the more it's going to help you to enable this heart chakra energy to just expand and become more open so as you can see all of these energies are very much like in a circular energy obviously they're circular cards but you can see how the energy is kind of coming out so I feel like a lot of you just radiating, radiating this gorgeous new energy, almost like a pregnancy glow. So some of you guys might be pregnant, but I do feel like you guys have a lot of ideas. You are in, in an incubation period, essentially. So I do feel like you are definitely recognizing in new parts of yourself and you're almost like trying them out. So I feel like dating is going to be really big for you in the next few months. I feel like if you guys are uh, have a birthday very soon, so maybe you're a Sag or a Scorpio, I feel like around your birthday something's going to drastically change for you. And it might not be actually straight away. It may be like, oh, I don't know if this is actually going to happen. But after like the couple of months, possibly after your birthday, things are going to actually really change for you. And I feel like your life is going to drastically change. So those of you who don't have a birthday, still the same thing next couple of months I feel like things are going to start to really pick up for you so we also have the creator so the creator is like massive amount of new energy and I feel like your brain is really kind of rewiring so you know when you've, you've gone through like toxic relationships and things is your brain is kind of like settled with okay this is what a relationship should be like I have to act like this 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 and this and being survival mode because obviously when you're with toxic people is you entertain that energy and obviously it's not always conscious so you know it's not a blame game or anything like that because obviously we all are toxic in some way but there's definitely energy of like your brain is becoming much more relaxed because you're not on adrenaline all the time if i keep itching my nose by the way guys i can feel it tingling spirits are like going ee. so if i'm scratching my nose it's because of that or scratching my head they're making me itch so there's definitely parts of you that are starting to rewire so you may 
get quite stressed out because part of you is like jiggling up like it's like almost like the universe has put you into a box and it's just shaking you because they're trying to get you to recognize something about yourself but also they're getting you to do things differently they're trying to get you to have more choice change up your routine get you to do things that you wouldn't normally do and if you're a fixed sign like myself this energy could really mess you around <laughs> but it's fine because it's gonna it's gonna shake up some things but it's also the shake up is good like what's going on outside you know what's going on in the world this is all for a reason it's all to wake us up to change things and to stop us from being in this like capricornian rule based mode it's kind of getting us to be more free more open and feel things with a whole heart and that's what's basically changing for you guys which is good i love this i love the self the self is one of my absolute favorite cars i just think it's so beautiful because it basically means you're coming into yourself and therefore you're going to start radiating and manifesting new things girl yes queen also you're going to manifest some really funny people some people who are really going to make you laugh and also just some really lovely energy some lighter energy i feel i don't feel with the lighter energy they're saying probably not until next year because the where the astrology is right now um but obviously with the next few months you're going to recognize possibly what you want out of relationships as well so the next cards we have out is the grand cross provoker and we have Grand Trine Blessing. So a lot of different energies for you guys, as you can see. I'm sorry if you guys can hear sirens. There is so much going on today. I don't know what is going on. There is some crazy stuff going on. So we have Grand Trine Blessings and we have Grand Cross Provoker. So as you can see, we have blessings and we have provoking. So essentially, when you come into this transformation, you may be provoked or kind of a bit confused or like, I don't know what, I don't want to change. I'm confused, I don't want to leave this partner or person that possibly is not good for me, but I can't leave them. That is totally fine. Maybe you're not meant to, but others of you who are meant to be triggered, you know, it's the awakening. And it's also a blessing because at the end of the day, if you didn't feel these things, it means you wouldn't be affected by them. So essentially doing some EFT and things like that are going to really help you work through these emotions. But this is also really good because essentially you're realizing what you do and don't want out of relationships. And for those of you who are fully single, nobody around, I feel like you're needing to really be in your little little world right now, a little bubble. That's going to help you to recognize your own energy, especially when you're an empath as you suck up everybody else's energy and it can be really hard for you to find out who you really are. Okay. So we also have with the grand triangle, I'm getting really drawn to the triangle and then the square, sorry, the square. Wow. This is Mercury retrograde. The triangle and the circle around it so you are being coddled i feel like it's really important to recognize that you're going through a really big cycle right now so part of you is learning to open up to this new cycle but also just to calm in this energy is be calm as much as possible because this is essentially out of our control with our love life but it's all good because it means we're waking up to our true potential it could be a fire sign and water sign connection as well which is really beautiful so this could be uh cancer pisces scorpio aries leo sag as well you could meet somebody who's also gone through the same things as you essentially that's why you're going through these things so maybe you can relate more to this person but also you could be going through these things just so you can really awaken to your truest potential and creativity is going to be really important for you guys so the energy that you guys are really going through is okay which one do you want we want the black egg so this is really interesting because i feel like group one got the golden egg you guys have got the black egg so you guys are really going through some deep stuff this is very much to do with the uh third eye and the root i feel so it's very much to do with safety but also to do with your intuition so how are you using your intuition are you really connecting to the universe are you asking for guidance are you listening to your intuition are you asking yourself the right questions? You know, all that stuff. So I feel like with the bat as well, this is the energy that's coming towards you, but also could be a new person coming in, the bat. So essentially both of you are going through like really big transformative energies. You are more in like a, um, like a bigger energy. So it feels like everything's gonna come to you at once. Um, not so much little things, it's gonna be like boom, like everything in one go. So like work life's gonna be really good, love life's gonna be really good, but it's gonna come from you trusting your intuition and trusting the guidance. I know it can be really hard guys, trust me, I know. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it and it's just as getting as much support as possible and asking for help. If you need help, ask for it. Don't be afraid to ask for it. It doesn't make you any weak, any more weaker, any more, it makes you actually more stronger and it helps you because you're able to really connect with people. And I feel like you're learning to have connections with people as well. And you're understanding how you deal with those connections in your life and how they really relate to you. So 
the energy coming in towards you or the person coming in towards you is the bat. So this is very much about high flying energy. This is somebody who's coming in who you probably will not notice straight away, I don't feel. I think this is somebody who you might not even be interested in straight away. And that's actually a good thing because that means that basically a lot of our soulmates, I've heard recently, a lot of our soulmates actually are people who we might not even like at first because at the end of the day, if it's like a karmic, a lot of the times you're immediately straight away connected to them because you want that, you need that part of them. But this, very unique connection. This is something that, I mean, they're very mysterious. They could be a Scorpio, it could be a Scorpio, Scorpio connection. So it could be friendship, it doesn't have to be relationship. Um, but it feels like somebody coming in who's gonna give you some really good, beautiful advice. I just feel like someone's gonna take you out of the dark energy that you're feeling or the energy that possibly you're feeling a little bit isolated. I feel like somebody's gonna help support you within that darkness energy. So let's get you some tarot. And let's see what's coming in for you guys. Wow, you guys have four of wands. That's really beautiful. So massive amount of stability. You guys are going to feel really good and I feel like you guys are going to start to feel really stable. You are actually manifesting your stability really nicely and there's definitely somebody who wants to connect with you on a very, very deep level, okay? Somebody who wants to have blessings with you and somebody who wants to create a life with you and it could be very much a fire sign. We have the Knight of Wands here. Sorry if you guys can't really see it. Sorry if you guys can hear a helicopter going over. There is so much going on. I have no idea what's going on today. It's actually insane. So... I definitely feel like there's some energy around this new person coming out. I feel like this person is really passionate about you. You'll know who this is by how much they, how much interest they have in you, how much they want to pursue you. And this is very much divinely timed, so you cannot force this guy. I'm sorry, but you cannot force this. This is something that's going to naturally occur, a natural process. This is something that is meant to be for you and only for you. So I feel like this person is definitely divinely guided to you. I feel like this is somebody who is really, really interested in you. They could be an Aquarius or have quite a strong Aquarius energy, could be an Aquarius rising. So let's see what else is coming towards you. We have the temperance. So essentially, definitely balance. You're working on getting balance in your life. You're working on the masculine and the feminine. And essentially, that grand cross and the grand trine is the masculine and the feminine. It's very much to do with you really focusing on parts of you that need to be worked essentially like your assertion and opening your heart chakra. So we also have the full. So a brand new beginning within your love life. I do feel like you guys probably have the best group as in like new beginnings. I feel like a lot of the other groups were to do with like past energy and transformation. I definitely feel like you guys are going through a really big transformation, a really big past life situation. I feel like your karma is definitely being rewritten and you're definitely letting go of the past with this 10 of swords, which is absolutely beautiful. Massive amount of new energy coming in and I feel like it's definitely divinely guided. So you are meant to have this new person, you're meant to have this new life come in. It just may take a little bit longer than what you thought, but just trust the universe, trust the universe knows what you want. And there's definitely could be a new start within your work life because we had the page of pentacles as well. So there could be something newly triggered in your in your career. Possibly you guys are also wanting to change your career because you may not be happy where you are. And I feel like it's going to inter intercept with your love life. It's going to be connected with your love life. You can meet somebody in career as well. So thank you so much for being here, guys. I do apologize for any noises in this reading. I have no idea what's going on. There's some weird stuff going on. But there we go. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, please have a look down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.